Check out this video from the House of Machismo podcast. It's House of Machismo. Let's talk a little bit about Uber because we were talking a little bit about Uber oh, Eats. Yeah. <laughs> Uber. Let, let, let's let's be specific about Uber <clears throat> Eats because yes. Chicago Chris has not done Uber Eats, has not tried it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I You've tried it. I have tried it. I've a tried lot. it. Yeah. Okay. So how often? When's the last time you ordered Uber Eats? Uh, about a week ago. A week ago. Yeah. Wow. What it's, was your order? Yeah. Oh God. Go we're, over. We're it. really gonna go over. Yeah. It. What was his name? <laughs> No, uh, you know Birria, Birria Tacos. Are you, sure, are you familiar? Yeah. yeah, anyway, so we ordered tacos from this uh, spot we usually get from. Uh, I didn't feel like driving. It was early in the morning. It was First off, cold. how far is the place? Dude, uh, oh my God, I'm embarrassed. <laughs> it was point two. It was Dude, a more embarrassed than drinking your own pee? It was bro- <laughs> Can you? Oh, yeah, you're First right. First off, <laughs> have you walked to this place before? No, no, no. It's not that close. Okay. It's not that close. Okay. It's, it's about uh, probably four miles. Oh, but, okay. Well, but, yeah. But still, you have to drive. But but I just didn't want to, you know, I didn't want to get out of bed. Yeah, and yeah. It's just, it's, it's really just being lazy. You know, mm-hmm. it's yeah, yeah. really what it is. You pay for being lazy, and yeah. and I'm okay with it. Oh <laughs> uh, God, I guess the, if the, I can afford it, I can do it. So, but. how much food, money worth of food did you get? Okay, so the order total was like thirty bucks. Okay, uh, plus the delivery fee, plus the tip, it ended up being about forty dollars. So that adds on like you know a good ten bucks a, a on chunk, top of a chunk. yeah, it adds a good ten bucks on top of you know you order. So yeah, and then like I was telling you guys earlier about. Priority, like you can make your order go or come faster or whatever to mm-hmm. your house, um, and that adds another two dollars. You know, it's like yeah, just keep adding they'll, shit. They'll run red lights for you, dude, for real. Because like, it's not yeah, gonna make the people making your food work any faster, <laughs> right? Because no, I, I've seen the drivers wait yeah. for the orders. Yeah, but yeah, you see, you I know? think I think when when you do that, I think Uber like picks a different driver that has like a higher score someone close yeah either that or, or i think like the best drivers you know they'll pick the best driver at least i think it's just my well, little imagination just pay them a little more or or maybe they just pay them a little yeah. more just so, so they can do it quicker right yeah. but i mean who fucking knows someone I, that won't put fingers in your salsa that too yeah, yeah. But, <laughs> but but my issue is like okay so they're gonna they're gonna put other people to the back seat to prioritize someone because you pay two bucks more yeah, yeah. i was yeah. like I, that personally i don't like Dude, Dude, honest. I mean, I don't know if it, if that's how it works. That's I'm, how it works. That's how I assume. You, Uber. <laughs> yeah, Uber. I, really, I really don't know if that's how it works. But, but I remember one time I ordered. Man, this was back when I used to eat McDonald's. I don't. I don't eat it anymore. Um, I don't. I try to avoid fast foods. Marty's healthy. Anyway, um, <laughs> so I ordered McDonald's and I fucking spent about seventy six dollars on it because they kept fucking up the order. The the McDonald's near my oh neighborhood. Oh my god. Uh, the closest McDonald's, uh, I, I think I figured it out. The employees speak Spanish. Mm. Not a whole lot of them speak English. Okay. You know, because they're just people that are assembling orders. They don't yeah. exactly. In fact, I've been to this McDonald's drive through before, uh-huh. and the first response is in Spanish. And if someone starts speaking English, then their silence. The computer kicks in. No, no, no. It's just silence. Welcome to McDonald's. <laughs> and then they, and then someone else comes in. Usually someone younger sounding. Yeah. It's like, hey, how can I help you? Because I think that they're gonna. Because the majority of people speak Spanish, and yeah. that's fine. Yeah. You know, they 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 accommodate. But McDonald's is neither English or Spanish. Correct. It's their own language. Dude, so real. I think that when they get the when they get the order, yeah, it's in English. Yeah. And so when they're filling it, they get confused. Oh, you gotcha, know. gotcha, gotcha. And it's because I kept on getting the wrong order. Oh, God. And it would be bits and pieces of the correct order. Yes. And so that happened four times. Damn. Mm-hmm. And finally, I just said, I'm not doing this anymore. Yeah. I'm not doing this. You stopped using it after that? Well, not. They refunded, they eventually refunded my money, okay. but it was ridiculous. Yeah. Because it's like, well, I don't know. I don't expect the Uber driver to even open the bag yeah. to check to see if it's in there because. Yes. You know, there there's some. Well, usually like, isn't it like stickered closed, so they don't. Yeah, you know, aren't it's supposed to look. Yeah, at it. it's sealed, or the bag is already. You know, like, but I'll be honest tight. with you. Now it came with so, the straw. So <laughs> being, somebody <laughs> said it came with the straw in it last time. So, so when you drive, when someone drives for Uber, yeah. just the driving, yeah. Yeah. not not the Uber Eats. Yeah, uh, car has to be clean. Car, you know, there's certain yeah. requirements. Yeah. For Uber Eats, the car doesn't have to be new. It just has to drive. But they also drive with their kids in the car. I've seen them drive with their dogs in the car. That's crazy. Yeah. You know, That's which, nuts. which yeah. 
you know, I guess if you're trying to earn extra money, you don't have a babysitter. Yeah. Kids are in the back. Yeah. You know, um, it's just, it's different. I thought Uber yeah. drivers can also go into the Uber Eats world. They, they can, can also pick mm-hmm. up food. Mm-hmm. They can. But the Uber, if you're strictly Uber Eats, then you can't do Uber at the same time. You there's can't. A, I don't think you can do them at the same criteria time. Criteria, yeah, from an Uber Eats driver than an Uber driver. Yeah, right. Yeah, and so it's kind of like uh, if you think about it, like a like a power strip and a surge protector. Yeah, surge protector can be a power strip. Power strips, yeah. not on the, are not necessarily surge, surge protectors. Right. Uber <laughs> Uber drivers yeah. can be can Uber can drive Uber Eats yeah. as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But if you're an exclusive Uber Eats drivers and your car doesn't you meet the code, yeah. you can't pick somebody up. Yeah. Or if you got your kids in the back or got yeah. a pet in there, yeah. you can't drive Uber. Yeah. You know? And yeah. so, dog ate one of your McNuggets. Well, it's, it's, it's just a little disconcerting because <laughs> yeah. I remember this one lady, she had her dog in her lap, you know, and all that, and she's handing me her bag, my oh. bag. And I'm like, I get it. No. I know, I'm like, yeah, okay. Make poil. No, yeah, no, I've never quit. had that. I, I, you, they usually just drop it off at the front door. They did fuck up once, though. They they missed my drink, and I was really pissed about that. And so, so do I you make it a big room. deal? Like, hey, I, bring me the drink? No, no, I'm not. Yeah. I, I don't do that. I'll just leave it on the review and be like, well, yeah, they fucked up my drink. And then the next time they'll So it's to, there forever. <laughs> yeah, so it's there forever. Instead you know, of calling and, them and telling them they're an asshole. No, I'm going to fuck up their life. Fuck I'm up gonna, their career. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. Uber Eats drive. I'm sorry, but you don't you don't forget my drink, man. I stopped doing Uber Eats. It's because yeah. it was really expensive. Yeah. Compared to yeah. um like going a, like, like a, actually going. Yeah. There. I and know, I know, I know. I, you guys are making me feel bad. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, the so no, I mean, I'm more, I'm more cheap. That's why I haven't used it. And I just will I'll go and pick it up myself. It, but you see, is, I'll do that too. Uber Eats, you can do that. You yeah. can you can pick it up too. So I'll do that every now and then. When I'm like, you know what, I'm fine, I'll get out of the house. So you could order just the food and carry out through yes. Uber Eats. Yes, you can. Because then they provide a carry out app for restaurants that don't yeah. necessarily have their own apps, yes. right? Is that yes. also a thing? Yeah, yeah. They do, they yeah. provide that type of service. They do, see, they do. This one time I ordered Wingstop. Mm-hmm. And Wingstop now does delivery. Yeah, they do. Hold on. Okay. So I'm like, this is perfect. Okay, let me yeah. order Wingstop. Yeah. They're going to deliver it. Yeah. And so uh, I, th- I gave him my address uh-huh. and all that stuff. And I'm just kind of chilling, just doing whatever yeah. around my house. And I'm just expecting to hear a knock yeah. on the door, but I never do. And then eventually, you know, every once in a while, I'll check my phone just to see who sent me a message. Yeah. And I get a text message from a random, random number saying, hey, bro, I'm here. And I'm like, who the fuck is this, <laughs> bro? You know, hey, yeah. Bro. And so I'm like, <laughs> who are you? And it's like, I got your order. Who this? Yeah. And so I'm like, what? What? You know. So apparently, Wingstop had used Uber Eats, really, to deliver my food. Yeah. But not only that, but they wouldn't because it's like they don't have their own delivery driver. I thought they did. They're just promoting for Uber Eats. Yeah. It's probably because Uber Eats is now starting to get a bad rap. On the on the <laughs> on the website, it didn't say anything about Uber Eats. Yeah. It says Wingstop now yeah. delivering. Yeah. And so I thought it was like Pizza Hut. Yeah. They have their own delivery yeah. people. Yeah. And I thought this was it. It's like, yeah. oh, that's cool. They changed the game. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. They should have been doing that. No. Uber Eats. And I'm like, this well, first of all, I kind of like, hey, dude, you need to bring this order to my house. Like, up to actually come out. Yeah, you know. And he's like, well, it's right here. So he didn't even get out of his car to even hand me the food. You had to go out to him. I had to go out to him. What? And hand me through the window. And which I'm like, okay, um, I didn't tip him. It just yeah. left a bad taste. It, yeah. it, especially with how a wing stop had done it also. Yeah. He's and so, ripping cigarettes in the car. Yeah, Dude. Uh, farting. Just, just, his, <laughs> just the attitude and all that stuff, you know. <laughs> I, I've had delivery drivers where their cars smell like pot. It's a little yeah. misdirection you know? there by uh, wing stop. By wing stop, yeah. Yeah, fuck yeah. that. Yeah. And so I don't do Uber Eats anymore or what's the other one? Grubhub. I don't do yeah. any of this Door stuff. DoorDash. DoorDash. Well, I don't do Postmates any of that. Postmates like the same type of thing? Yeah, it's the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, none is better than the other. They all have their little differences yeah. and they all suck in a certain way. And there are benefits to it too yeah. in different ways. Yeah. So in the end, it's all going to cost pretty much the same. Yeah. You know, there's no real savings and all that. Now, no. I remember back in the day growing up, of course, in the big city- uh, all these little mom and pop places had their own delivery drivers. Yeah, yeah. So we would, it would, we'd always have food dropped off to us all the time. But it was the own 
restaurant, even either the Chinese spot or the Italian spot or the pizza spot yeah. or burgers, this and that, gyros, chicken, yeah. Greek spot, mm-hmm. they all had their own personal delivery drivers mm-hmm. that would work for that particular restaurant only. Yeah. They're not mm-hmm. dealing with other things. They're not doing anything. Yeah. Their their whole mission is to get your food the- to you as quick as possible and, and hot yeah. and ready. And then yeah. that was lovely. And we always tipped those guys. We took it. We even had a video store in the city that would deliver videotapes for us, new yeah. releases and what? stuff like that. Video games. Are you serious? Yes. That was one of the best. Damn, Netflix out, before outside Netflix. Outside of just regular <laughs> yeah. Food delivery Uh restaurants and stuff to have. You could order a pizza. I remember ordering a pizza and then ordering two movies and a video game on a Friday night. Are you kidding me? And they're both coming at the same time. What? Our, our, Our new movies are here. Video game here for the weekend. Here comes the pizza. It's a lovely Friday night. Wait, was this Blockbuster or what? I mean, it's it's it was a mom and pop video store in Chicago. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. I wow. mean, no, Blockbuster never delivered or anything. No, but it they was never just did. a genius idea yeah. by these people yeah. to offer delivery for for nice. movies and stuff, nice. and Ch- that was awesome. That's Chicago cool. is a little bit is way different than how Dallas is. Apparently. Dallas, it takes forever to go anywhere. Yeah, it was so spread out, but in Chicago. Because but that place doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, yeah no. Yeah. I mean, it's been run out of business. Yeah. So, yeah. but it was a good service back then. They didn't have anything like that here in yeah. Dallas. You know, like when I was in Chicago, I could literally just walk out on the street and just yeah. hail a cab. Yeah. It was that easy. Nice. Here, you here always. There's never been a situation here in Dallas or been an instance where you can just walk out and hail a cab. No. Yeah, you have to call it. You'll you be have out to, there for have, days. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> in Chicago, in regular neighborhood, you see a cab coming by. Yeah. You just raise your hand to come out. Like, you don't have to worry about it. Yeah. Like, that's just how it works. Yeah, you could just leave your house and just, you'll figure out how to get there. Yeah. You'll get there. Yeah. Here nice. in Dallas, it's like all of a sudden now Uber's so popular here in Dallas yeah. just because now you can live far away yeah. from something, yeah. you know, um, and and be just use an app yeah. and have someone call it. Like, it. It, it's it's awesome. Yeah, yeah, it sense, is. You it know? is. Yeah, it's just um, you know the Uber Eats and stuff. They really um, their services are for like corporate restaurants and stuff. Yeah. But I've seen small individual companies use them, but I just don't understand the relationship between Uber Eats and the small business. I don't either. And I feel like it's not a good one in most cases. Some yeah. of them are probably good. Yeah. I wonder how much they charge the other business. And yeah. You know what I, I mean? I was wondering the same thing. How yeah. many people's hands yeah. are on this little bit of money yeah. that they try to take? There's, you know, I just, there's yeah. this pizzeria yeah. right down the street from my house. And they make pretty good pizza. I've actually done carry out through them. Yeah. And then one day I thought, oh, well, I'm going to order, because I always order, I don't always, but when I do order pizza, it's always Pizza Hut. I said, let me give the small guy the opportunity. Yeah. So I call him for delivery. Well, apparently he does have people that deliver for him, but he also does Uber Eats. So I call for him for delivery, but he was so overwhelmed, so busy. He's like, hey, dude, do you think you can order this through Uber Mm -hmm. Eats instead? Because he's a little small. Oh, wow. And I'm all like, okay, all right. And so when I was done, I'm like, I'm not doing Uber Eats. <laughs> yes. Because it's like, that. no, no, no. Yeah. Because I'm going to rather pay the driver yeah. the actual money, yeah. Yeah. you know, as opposed to now paying a third party money. Yeah. Plus Shame on that tip. guy. I, I, was that the owner that told you that? Or yeah. was it just an owner, employee? Owner, manager. No, no, no. It was a manager. Because yeah. I remember the sound of his voice because when I would go over there. Now him. I don't know if he was the actual owner, but yeah, I know he was. Shame he was a guy. In, for he was a guy in charge. Business. Yeah, for real. Yeah, 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 he fucked up on that one. Yeah. It must have been a really horrible night or something. I don't. Was, I don't know. But yeah, you know, he was probably having a bad day. Yeah, probably. I don't know. If you like what you saw? You know what to do. So just do it already.